What is up, believers? We just arrived on property and we are about to scout locations for our 24 hour Bigfoot investigation. Tate is getting ready, getting his gear on, getting his mountain khaki gear on. We're waiting on Toby to get here. David and Angie are going on vacation this week. Definitely hate they get to miss this, but I know they're having fun wherever they're going. It was a secret trip, just spare the moment. Uh, here's Tate now walking up in, trying to dodge us Tate. What is up, believers? Oh man, so right now, the weather feels amazing out here. I mean, there's no wind, it's not cold. I mean, it's a great day for squatching. So uh, did you already talk about the camping? Yeah. Okay, so 24 hour camping. We're going to be the bait for the Sasquatches, but today, this episode is going to be a scout. We're going to scout heavily activity places and just go from there, see where we need to pinpoint camping locations, and we'll just move around through the night when we do the episode of the camping. So when Toby randomly pops up in this video, you guys will know that he's made it on location with he us. Has, yes. He's definitely going to give me a call, and as you can see, these woods are thick. We are about to get into these woods. Uh, for 24 hours straight, we're gonna find a location to set up our night camp. We're gonna scout all that. Believers, and this 24 hour hunt is for you. We're rolling. Okay, so this is not this is not far from where we start at at our base of operations camp, but we just thought we'd throw this out there to y'all. It's a little interesting looking area, but uh, these are old church steeples around here that our producer and you know the guy owns the land, Rex, he, uh, He's a, he's a contractor and he's took in these old church steeples and he just placed them down here after, you know, they've remodeled churches and everything. They just didn't know what to do with the steeples. So he said, he'll keep them. He put them down here for looks. But I mean, it gives it that eerie look down here, don't it? I mean, it's, it's different, but uh, we've had activity in this area before. And especially beyond that point, we believe there is a type of cave if you will a cave system yeah a cave system for sasquatches and we're gonna get that later on as the season goes along but uh there's definitely activity in this area and i mean these church steeples may draw the sasquatches in just because just because of the looks and you know just they're, they're curious about why it's here why did we put these things here so uh i mean as you see right there church steeples maybe a good spot just to camp right in the middle who knows right there at that tree That'd be a good spot, wouldn't it? So you know, so you know that we cannot go scouting for Bigfoot without actually having a Bigfoot hunt. Uh, so Tate, I'm gonna flip the camera around, and Tate's gonna give a call. Um, the first one of today, in the daylight. There's totally a structure on up in the woods. We're gonna walk up to that after he gives the call, and we listen for a few minutes. Okay. Everybody ready? There's no, there was no call for alarm right here. We just saw that structure and we got kind of curious, but I was like, you know what? Let's just start a call. So. There was definitely something just now called back. Did you hear that? It was over here to your left. It was over here to your left. You see that? Do what? If you look right here, I mean, there's three different types of trees out in the middle of the woods just piled up with each other. I mean, people, believers. We're doing this, yeah, for, for our entertainment, but for yours too. And the stuff like this is what keeps us going and keeps us wanting to go forward with Sasquatch hunting guy. It's unexplainable how these trees just pile up like this in the middle of the woods, one way in, one way out, private property. The owner never comes out here. I mean, there was an X formation in it, uh, same as y'all saw last week with me and Toby's hunt. Structures, you cannot explain structures in the middle of the woods. Crazy. Here, let me go up here and get a better view of all this. Uh, 
No, don't pick. Just roll. Come here. Okay, come here. I don't zoom no, out. Keep it rolled. Come here. Come here. Come here. Believers. This is something I want to show y'all while I see it right now. Come on up, please. Let me just take the camera. All right. Believers, this stick right here wow. is randomly just jammed into the ground. Okay. Holy crap. This stick just in the ground near this structure right through here. This is the structure, some kind of sort of structure. There's five different types of trees in that pile of woods right there, just in the middle of nowhere. Look how many X's you can count out. Yeah, there's so many X formations. There's, one, there's two. And this. There's one in there. But, I'm more intrigued about but this I cannot tree. explain this stick right here. Shit. Just stuck in the ground. I'm so, I mean, you can't explain this stuff. And there's no naked trees up through here. You can see right here, it's been broke off of something, but why is it naked? And why is it stuck in the ground? Here, let me get a picture of it real quick. I'm going to yank it out of the ground see how deep it is. Yeah. <clears throat> Make it believers, stay tuned. This yeah. one, this scouting Bigfoot possible slash, campsite. Yeah, possible, possible campsite. campsite. We, we might. Here, let me see. Okay, me and Tate decided not to leave this area quite yet. This may be a number one contender for a 24-hour search. It's going to be an uncomfortable sleep, but uh, you got a structure here. You got an unexplained stick. Tate wanted me to yank the thing out of the ground just to see how really deep it is. Uh, so we're gonna try it, just for you believers. Uh, we normally don't tamper with like this kind of evidence because it's so cool, but if you look at this, Bigfoot DNA could be on this, but you can't fingerprint. Something just knocked over there. I heard it. You cannot fingerprint I heard again. wood, but uh, I mean, I'm sure you can somehow, but we can't. So let's just see how really deep this thing is in the wood. Okay, not so deep, but still. Well, right there, look where it is dark, yeah. I mean, and look at look at the end of it. It's sharp. Yeah, it's like a. I mean, it's kind of just broken, but yeah. But I mean, thing, that that's something with that much the strength. The ground is hard here too, people. This ground is like hard. So, I'll tell you what. Here, demonstrate for us. Drop a hole beside it. Try to make a hole, a new hole. Come on, that's weak. I thought you were working out, man. Going. It's not going. I have been working out, but it's not going. <laughs> exactly. So, what does that tell us? It's not going in the ground like that. I, I, I'm not saying I'm the strongest, but I just jammed as hard as I could right there without getting, without injuring myself. And uh, nah, it's not happening. So that stick right there, unexplainably jabbed in the ground. Believers, what do you think? Okay, believers. Tate, you tell them what it just sounded like just happened down in the. Okay, so we're walking up on the main trail site. And we hear what we think is like a rustling of leaves, like something running. Is that what you heard? Because that's what I heard. Yeah. And it almost it, sounded like something crashed in the water to yeah, me. Yeah. Well, it sounded like a crashing sound. I can't. I can't decide if it was water or leaves. I thought it was rustling of leaves, but I, I mean, that's what it sounded like to me. Somebody's been here. Somebody's been here. This is new. It? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. I've got to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely not. Okay, okay, I about just got thrown. So we definitely just heard something crash in the woods, but Put this- this apple here. It's, it's got a sticker on it, so. Oh. I'm pretty sure Rex is, <laughs> there's one there too. Okay, okay, okay I was, yeah. I was, this is, they got so our producer up. is trying to bait some squatch in now. They put it high. Okay, okay. I was like, what? Threw what me off this? a little what bit. What is this? Pretty cool. <laughs> through. Yeah. But the crash in the water, I cannot explain. Uh, yeah. It's, to me, it sounded like crashing water. Tate said it sounded like a crash in the leaves. It, to be determined. Believers. It was something heavy. It was something heavy crashing. If this has happened to you guys, let us know. Drop a comment below. Yeah. So me and Tate's walked up and down these woods. Our hero. Toby has showed up. The great so, Toby. <laughs> so we're Tate's about to show Toby what uh, we found up there. You guys have already seen it, you believers. So this is Toby's first time, and you guys get to get his reaction on what we 
we think we found. We're gonna get his reaction on what he thinks it is. So Toby, in your absence, we's over there across the way near the caves. Uh -huh. And uh, it looked like a bunch of tree structures. You know, it was like torn down and you know, there's, there's a bunch of X formations. We found this in the Holy middle cow. of it and it was just stuck in the ground. And I had Taylor pull it out of the ground. I know we're not, but we don't like to tamper with stuff, but we just, I mean, I was curious. So oh, yeah. he pulled it out and it was what to say a good five, six inches mm -hmm. deep in the ground. It was like, I mean, it was stuck in the ground. Good night. Yeah. We stuck it back up just to leave it. But still, but, that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, and we, can you explain? No. Why it done that? No. We found, me and David, it's probably been but two years ago when we found those stumps turned up upside down on the hillside. There was two cedar stumps. We had went, that's when we found all the tree structures back up here. Me and David went through the thicket and was going back down towards the cabin because we seen where we could see the cabin. And as we got to a little knoll where it dropped down, mm -hmm. we got to looking and there was two stumps, like cedar stumps, had turned upside down and jabbed back down into the ground. And we wow. come back to film those and that's what I was telling Taylor came back to film those and they were gone. I know y'all Y'all said there's like a birthing area over there. Uh -huh. You think this could be another birthing spot? Well, I don't know. This is what's weird. Why is this one just in the middle? That's, yeah. that's, that's what made us look when we come up here. But look at it. Everything's broke off of it. That's right here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's weird. And I mean, I know deer and stuff like that. But I don't see deer just bedding right here. Well, there's no sign of deer. Uh -uh. I mean, you see droppings, rubs, droppings uh -huh. footprints, uh, bedded up stuff. I mean, it's just a random circle in the woods. I mean. I cleared out Zark, but I just thought it was kind of neat up here, especially where it's kind of thick. Man, it's just like a circle. Well, right what's got me interested, like he's talking. And something played across it's just the a, room. Yeah, it's just a random open area in the woods with a bunch of trees snapped or twigs snapped off on the inside of it and one random like spot sticking up. Uh-huh. In the middle of the <clears> woods <throat> you can do this. And everything just broke off clean. And everything just broke off to this height. Yeah. So what's y'all's opinion? Birthing place? Bed? Hangout? Uh, ritual area? I don't know. What do y'all think it is for Sasquatch? I don't know. Get in the mind of a Bigfoot. What do you I think, Toby? I, I don't know. I think a lot of the stuff we get into. I wish we had Native American mm -hmm. to talk to because you hear so much legend. I'd like to hear more of their legends, more of their stuff that they've heard passed down. But this right here, is it a, a chanting area? Um, is it a worshiping area for it, for whatever it worships. As you think the Indians, they would get out and they would dance around the fires and different things to, to call the different gods and stuff for them. I don't know if this is a ritual area, not saying it's really, yeah. you know, anybody far as getting them to- uh, A perfect circle. Uh, right, but to have a yeah. perfect circle like that, it most definitely has some kind of meaning. Yeah what it is and the trail just stops it does it just it leads here comes right off our main trail right basically right there across from where the tree structure is does the street tree structure lead you to this is exactly. it a signal for that exactly believers drop comments below we want to know what you guys think uh this 24 hour hunt, I'm looking forward to it. Just come, yes. come to this in the middle of the night. If we hear something, we know it's up here now, we can run to it. We did not discover this place until a week ago. Right, right.